What's going on? You tell me. Tell you? Look at you. Catching rays? Well, I was out with the orthodontist, who, by the way, wanted a lot more than a return on his investment for putting up his 25 grand. Well, no wonder. Look at the way you're dressed. Hey, I broke into my old locker when I woke up here. I found all my old stuff, the chairs and water and everything else is courtesy of our mystery host. God, what a headache. So what happened to the orthodontist? Nothing. Nothing? What's the story? What story? I had a few drinks and I woke up here. No check? Why don't you show me the cash from the Austin twins? I could have closed them. <sighs> Such a moron. It was a setup. Nice to see you again, Dane. Thought you might be interested in seeing the, uh, the old institute again. I'm glad to see you're so concerned. Oh, come on, Dane. That all ended 20 years ago. You've certainly followed your own path. So you two know each other? Alistair Somerville was an associate of my father. Until he had him set up. I see the old wounds haven't healed yet. Well, I would like to know why Dane and I were drugged and brought here against our will. Security. Right. <laughs> Let's talk about... Kidnapping, abduction, drugs. You wait until my lawyer gets through with you. Here we go. Let's see. Ah, yes. Dane Cottrell, a.k.a. Daniel Quinn, a.k.a. Dane Grover. And Robin Turner, a.k.a. Robin Thomas, a.k.a. Rachel Polanski. Polanski, huh? And the Quattrell Marine Institute, a.k.a. Nautical Research International, a.k.a. Neptune Research, and about 15 other nefarious names and companies. Now, what, what I see here, you two have amassed nearly, what, a, a hundred lawsuits and assorted judgments against yourself, some of which, of course, caused you to lose the Institute here. Going on. Fraud. Intent to commit fraud. You made your point, Somerville. What do you want? Hmm, that's statutory rape. Now, wait a goddamn minute. I never raped anybody. Not you, Dane. It's your, uh, your partner, Ms. Turner. I don't know anything about it. Well, apparently the 16-year-old's uh, parents didn't see the sincerity in the relationship. Especially when you convinced the boy to cash $75,000 in savings bonds into the Atlantis research mission in Hawaii. Again, what do you want? Well, since it seems that the two of you have lost everything but these... Research submarine resolve, I think I'd like to hire that for a mission. That will never happen. Oh. Wait a minute. He's offering us a gig. A real gig. This man could have gotten my father killed. I think you ought to listen to your partner, Dane. Why do you want to hire the resolve? I need a research submarine that's capable of reaching at least 3,000 feet. And which is currently docked in Florida. Now, there's not a lot of private ones that fall into that category. What's the mission? Take a look. It's a Bermuda Triangle Syndrome. Giant underwater faults break loose and three ships in a sub disappear. Check the last page. Emergency decompression. This, this is a U.S. Navy problem. It's a private station. It'll be at least six months before the Navy investigates. It's yours, isn't it? Yeah. It's at 3,800 feet. I know that. That's the dive limit for the resolve. I didn't say it was going to be easy. How much are you going to pay us? Well, my lawyers will clean up yours and Dane's legal problems. We'll cover your expenses for the trip, and uh, we'll give you $100,000. Each. $100,000 each now, and $100,000 each when we return. Deal. But oh, and Dane. One more thing. If this mission is successful, I want you and Miss Turner to come back here. I want you to rebuild that institute. Talk to the IRS. Already have. Flight leaves tonight at 9. Mr. Somerville will meet you on board the resolve at 0500 tomorrow morning. 
You mean you're going? Of course. Great. 